Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So one of the most common questions that I get is, what type of computer should I get to do video editing? Now the simple answer is, it depends. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you what I'm using when it comes to a laptop. So in this case, I'm currently rendering out a 1080p video project. So I've already edited the video I'm rendering out right now. And obviously I have other things that are going on, including recording this video right now using OBS. And so let me show you some of the specs that I have. So this laptop I'm currently using is more than three years old. I bought this in 2018. So at the time of this video, it is uh, 2022. And so as you can see here, my CPU, it is a Intel Core i3 processor running at 2.2 gigahertz, one physical processor, two cores, four threads, RAM, I have eight gigs of RAM. And in terms of graphics, I am using an integrated graphics card, so it doesn't have uh, its own separate GPU. And also my storage is just a normal hard drive. It is not even an SSD. And despite all that, I'm still able to do this. And I actually look at my resources. The CPU is, is being pegged, it's being used a lot. And in terms of the memory, the RAM, I have a total of 7.7 .7 gigs available, five gigs of which is being used right now. But as you can see here, I am still able to edit videos even up to 4K. And most of the videos that I produce, it is simpler, so it's not really complex projects. So it still is possible today in 2022 for you to get a lower end laptop and still do video editing. And I say for most people, this is gonna be good enough. You know, you don't need to go out and buy the most powerful hardware. Obviously it does help if you can get the most powerful hardware. But as you can see here with everything that I'm running and doing video rendering and doing recording with OBS, I'm still able to do that on a very low end spec computer. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other hardware that you're using to do your video editing, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my YouTube videos, tutorials, and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.